Well, uh, main challenge is to the people to understand that this is not a normal trade show. This is the uh, we're not competing with other trade show. This is another concept, completely different, based on the arena, where the main uh, star of the show is basically the top users, not the um, the manufacturers of advanced manufacturing. That's uh, very complicated to uh, for them to understand because it's very new. Barcelona is a hub already of uh, advanced manufacturing. Has been always in innovation. Uh, it has uh, many research centers and uh, big companies uh, that has been developing uh, advanced manufacturing processes. And also, uh, the city of Barcelona has a big movement of makers. Uh, we have uh, uh, Fab Labs. We have uh, another type of uh, Ateneos de Fabricación. Uh, which actually that helps uh, develop uh, the economy. So basically, this is a very uh, big uh, effort from all the entities that they want Barcelona to become this global hub. And we want international companies not to come to the event, but to establish also. Well, uh, what we want is to more companies see that uh, this new format is a benefit for them. Because what we want to, to do is that companies from advanced manufacturing learn from the needs of their clients and then they can tweak their their technology in order to give them what they really want. Uh, it's not like a, this is my machine, the end, take it or leave it. It's more like work closely because this uh, is so so new, this, uh, although it has been running for 30 years, but they can work together. And most of the cases, they already work together to develop uh, certain uh, machines or uh, products or materials. So what we want is to create this hub here for people to interact and find ways to collaborate and develop. So our, our what we would love is that the challenges that the top end consumers are presenting here, they will present it next year as the best practices, and then so on, so on. Uh, we were surprised about the medical, medical uh, uh, healthcare, because one of the points of the strength of the advanced manufacturing is the personalization, right? So basically, anyone that had unfortunately been damaged and and had like a skull removed or something, or, or like an implant. That will, it's very, it's perfect because that advanced manufacturing is for very uh, small scale in this particular and very ad hoc or more, more like precise. Um, also the automotive and aer aeronautics, we hope that that will grow to other related like a, a maritime or even uh, energy or even like a aerospace like up there. For us, what we say normally is that uh, technology is in 2050 and the market is in 2016, right? So uh, how can you convince a company or like a R&D or like guy that is in the factory that has to produce thousand cars per week that has to adapt these advanced manufacturing to their processes. He's, he has a one, only one concern, and to produce, produce, produce. This is the aim of the show. We want this guy to understand that the advanced manufacturing could make his life easier. So we want to convince the R&D department, the, the production department, all the departments and the director in order to uh, we fostering this advanced manufacturing and that they adopt that. So. That's why we have the leader companies here showing that they have adopted, but we want to inspire our companies that they haven't.